What is up, YouTube? You saw, you know, I posted Beast Playmaking 4 build he had. Today, we are combining my Slashing 4 and his Playmaking 4 and creating a dual lineup of 2-6-9 dribbling point forward, finishing, shooting. Just a really, just a really crazy lineup that you have never, ever seen anybody run in NBA 2K20. I'm not gonna lie, NBA 2K20 is a very meta, meta game. Everyone runs the, usually the same stuff. So we're just out here running a different kind of lineup today. You see, we're going up against a three level score shooting guard and an interior finisher power forward, you know, superstar three, superstar one. They actually got a little unique lineup of themselves. Not a lot of people would run these two together. It does make sense. They got a lot of shooting. He, you know, he's the pure sharp three level scorer and the interior finisher's got all the finishing. So they kind of got an inside outside kind of lineup. Of course, me be slashing for playmaking for. We're just going to take turns, you know, working the better matchup, you know, both of us doing our own thing and seeing what we can do. Now, you see, starting off right off the bat, we don't really want to give these guys the ball too much because, uh, I can't lie, you see as B screams as I dunk that, it's going to be kind of tough to get a stop on an interior finisher. Those hey, looks like a butterscotch cookie. Those dudes... I don't know what he just said. Those dudes hit all kinds of contested layups. You see me going up for a little contested hook. Could have died a beast, but I didn't. You thought you saw it, but you didn't. I didn't want to, as he said. I didn't want to. I didn't want beast to sell the game this early. You know, I was trying to get up at least eight to ten points yeah. before we give them the ball. You see here. Let's not start with no fucking weird turnover. Got to give it to beast here, though. You know, he's working. Uh, he's actually got space. I'm surprised he's not shooting yet. Takes the shot wide open, misses. Of course, I'm right there for the board. Beast shooting a wide open three. I sell. I am a sellout. YouTube. He is a sellout, but he gets the board, so it's okay, man. We gotta, we gotta see what we can do. Of course, this interior finisher is not gonna guard him in the slightest. Now he just missed two wide open shots. Make that three, and now we gotta play the D. four to zero. No, no, no. We're not recording this video because I'm a fucking sellout, and I don't want that all over YouTube. We'll get some more superstars later. Thank you. Uh, I'm definitely recording this video and putting it on YouTube. Shout out to Beast. Uh, you know, always here, to, always here to help me get these bangers out. But you see here, four to zero. Like I said, I didn't want him to have the ball this quick. It's unfortunate. It's gonna have to. You know, we'll see. I, I, I don't know who I don't. Who, I don't know who would be worse getting hot. Mm -hmm. The three level score with the shot ready takeover and the interior finisher. This dude's still sitting in the paint. I'm telling Beast, just go in, take a midi. Wide open green. There we go. Now we can actually have some offense. If they're just going to sit in the paint on Beast, then it's still become useless. He's got to be able to make him pay. Doing another shot. Taking another green. At this point, two greens in a row. You see the interior finisher doing a little emo. Now he knows. Now our spacing's about to be nice. So you see here, they're actually calling for the switch. Putting the interior finisher on me since I'm the slashing for it. But that's not going to work either because I can shoot just as well. Not just as well. I can shoot way better. You see Beast. I dot him right there. He should have shot. He's being weird with the dribbling. Goes up for a contested dunk. That's crazy. Uh, so I miss a wide open dunk, but I make that. Exactly. Yeah, this is how crazy how 2K is. We don't have contact dunks, but we do get big body dunk animations in the paint. Uh, you see me cooking up this dude, not giving him the chance to switch, even if they want to. Beast wide open in the corner, big dots, big whites. I can't, I can't, I can't hit fucking threes this game. It's weird. Beast could definitely not hit threes. He could not hit any jump shots this game. But you know, when that happens, at the end of the day, you're you're only gonna oh good sh good stuff right there. You see, they're trying to do that little lob cheese. You gotta be able to predict that. You gotta you gotta. I'm a sellout, bro. Beast is definitely a sellout. You gotta be able to press X for the steal, press Y, bump them, do something to keep them from just getting these the layups. This man, stop hitting them with the cheese. Two to ten. That is the toughest part to guard about these I'm interior stuck. pressure builds. Uh, you see here, two to ten. But the good thing is they can't do that when the the guard is thrown in. Only the big men. You see here, kind of LT cheese when they get a go. wide open three or yeah, five percent contested ah, with the lead. Uh -huh. Goes right to the interior finisher's hands, and my, now it's four to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My freaking my. Yeah, my defense, my uh, my rebound is still low. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling Beast, uh, try to box him out because the board, you know, he's got high rebound. The board's gonna go to him. So he boxed him out right there. there, there. That was exactly what we needed to get this board. Four to ten. Uh, Dot and Beast right there. Thought he was gonna stay out, brings him in a little bit. Tell him just take the mini. The dude's leaving you open. He shoots him early. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, he did warn me he could not shoot this game, so that's what I'm fully oh expecting. Oh, you cannot record this fucking video, like, <laughs> so bad, bro, so bad. <laughs> like, horrible. Even though I may be playing with Beast's worst offensive, you know, game. Uh, I'm going to hit that shot. <laughs> Beast's worst offensive game he's had in forever. We're still going to come up with doing this. This, this, this dude sucks. This dude. Can't even, they're not even good enough to record anyway. This dude reaching. I mean, they, you know, 
shout out to these guys, Beast being rude. But uh, this dude reaching, he's getting himself cold. That is unfortunate. You don't want to be cold as a shooter. That's probably the worst build to be cold on. Maybe a dribbler if he makes it where you can't speed boost anymore and you rely on that. But if you're cold as a shooter, there's not a whole lot more you can do to get warm. Because eventually you're going to have to take a shot. You see Beast finessing the paint a little bit right there. 4 to 14. He's like, I got my Beast end up with the big hop step. This dude too short. Really, I could go in and just post this man in the dot beast for the wide open shots, but I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be too mean to this dude. Beast taking that I shot lag, right there. I lagged, I lagged, I lagged, he I said lagged, he lagged. lagged. He just I missed lagged. the shot. He is trash. We'll see if we can get another shot. This dude taking a three, like I said, he's got to hit a three really to get easy. uncold. Fucking and that being cold is just gonna make it really tough for him. I'm wide open in the corner. Let me pop this shot. I shoot a wide, but I'm able to hit that. So like, the thing about it is, is like I'm so confused right now because I like, suck. Uh, yeah, 4 to 17. Let's see how we can finish this game. No reason to give them the ball back. Just high efficiency <laughs> offense now. He's leaving me open. I'm looking for the drive. Dot and Beast. My passing IQ is always there. Even if he's missing, I'm still going to make that wide open pass. Seven points, five assists, three rebounds. These dudes, you know, they're good players, but they're just not having a good game. They don't have their momentum. They're relying on that lob threat. They know that lob cheese, and that's not going to work against players that are tall like this. They can switch everything. Uh, it was late. Beast Sorry, dots me. A little bit late. That's cool, though. I'm okay. working for the three. Taking that full Good wide. Game. That is tough, but I'm ready for that board. Uh, get my takeover oh, yeah. right off the rebound. Um, I'm just going to dot B since he's leaving him. Full midi. And, uh, <laughs> I can't game. I, mean, I can't game. Beast has never <sighs> been a game winning shot in his life. But they're not going to score uh, 17 straight points. So. <laughs> I'm going to put back on 38. It's going to be. Dante is fine. Uh, yeah, you see, he's switching. He switched from 38 to X. And he actually uses a custom 38 now. He finally found his jump shot. This dude decks to me. Could not hit a shot to save yeah, his boy. life. He was cold the whole game. Beast dots me. I'm going to finish the game right here. Actually, I'm going to give it to Beast one more time. He doesn't want to oh, yeah, shoot. He's nervous. He doesn't want to miss another game winner. I'm telling him, dot me. He hits a little hook. And that is game. I'll keep playing, Sonic. You see, 7 for 14 for Beast. 3 for 4 for me. 0 for 3 from the 3 point line. That dude went 0 for 7. There was just no chance he had. Now I'm going to show you guys one more gameplay. Like I said, Beast is pretty low overall, so we can forgive him. I was a 90 at this point. Both of us almost 99 on these builds now. And, uh, yeah, man, that was that was really, uh, you know, it was a pretty good game. You see here, we're going up against an offensive threat. I got yo pants, 99 overall. And he's got save Samuel, glass cleaning lock. Don't be fooled by the pro. It's just a, it's just one of his teammates on a new account. Probably got banned or something. I'm not sure. But the dude had like a, dude had like an 80, 85 win percent. As you guys can see, uh, shout out to this guy's outfit. I love the flannel. It matches the hat. You see, I am in my uh, Trey Young outfit. You guys saw the Trey Young video. I was recording. I actually like. I gotta give a shout out to 2K. So in before and other 2Ks, if you made one player look like a, you know, if you changed the look of one player, it would change the look of all your players. This year, actually, if you change the look of one player, it does not affect the other player that you have. So that's actually really clutch. It makes it pretty cool because, like, you know, I, I load onto this player and I don't look like Trey Young. I have his jersey on, but I still look like how I look like. So I could really be recording multiple videos with players that look different, which, you know, I'm going to try to get more NBA players out for you guys. I know you guys like those videos. It's tough sometimes finding the jerseys, you know, getting all the animations and stuff on it getting all the clips for it but i'm definitely working on those for you guys you see three to zero uh you know slow game for us i got two fouls already c minus not not exactly how i wanted to start this dude name i got your pants he got the little elf hat he cooking up crabbing me right there uh this dude is a pure inside so that makes defense a little bit easier he does a clutch move right there this man does not have the long athlete package he has the little circus layups behind the back stuff Shout out to him. Anyone that dribble, you know, that uses different animations that's different from the meta, you know, you gotta give them their props. They're playing, they're playing with worse animations, still trying to get the game. You see here, doing it, doing it again. That's not gonna work the second time. Beast able to get the block. Dots me. Time to get this game over with. You know, superstar three offensive threat. I don't wanna, I don't wanna let him get hot. So we're gonna try to finish the game right here. Beast starting off this game actually with a green three as last game. You know, he was missing everything. He might be actually on this game. We'll have to see. They're putting the center on me. I'm telling Beast, you know, if he wants to work the guard, go for it. We're trying to get him badges right now. He sees me wide open though. Shoots up big white from the corner. I'm telling you, that hot spot in the corner is big time because I could not time my shot at this time. <laughs> But I'm able to hit all those whites. 
Just because, you know, corner shots are the best threes you can take in the game. You see here, he's working. Takes a horrible shot, 40% contested. Unfortunately, did not dot me. Gives these guys the ball back. We'll see. His game plan, he's got that big hezzy. He's trying to just do that. He's trying to get in his spot, and he's trying to take a fade. You see here, being weird with the ball. The guy, he's probably calling for a screen because the inside can't really do anything except screen. Uh, unless he's just going to outboard Beast every time. But Beast got decent rebounding on this build, so that's not going to work. Goes in for a big layup right there. Late, one for sick contestant. Beast jumps probably about the best time that you could actually jump. But uh, it's just not happening right there. You see Beast got his rim protecting badge though. So now I'm telling him, you know, I'm playing high. I'm going to make this guy drive. If he gets to the paint, he's you. With like, you know, I don't know, 50 games played or something. So, you good player. That dude hits me with some work right there. Big offensive threat. Popping the shot. Uh, 99 overall. So you already know he's got all his badges. You see they're actually getting hit by a big body. But he misses and we grab the board. Now it is time to cook. Now it is time to to get these guys out of here. You see I got hot spots right there. Taking the shot. Big white. It goes in. 7 to 9. I'm going to have to start greeting though. Eventually, you know, these whites are going to stop hitting. And I just got to get this green and get these guys out of here. So you see 7 to 9. Uh, it's been a good competitive game so far. They leave the beast wide open. The guard actually, I guess they wanted to switch. They want the big man on me. So he tried to sprint over there as fast as he could. But he could not make it. Beast able to green that shot. We are on our shooting right now. And then unfortunately... How many videos does this ha how many times in my videos does this happen? Someone, either me or the opponent team, steps out of bounds right there. You got to be patient or that's just going to happen. It's unfortunate. This man dots the center. Center doesn't do anything crazy, but Beast goes for the steal. Takes him to Narnia, and this dude able to get an easy layup. 9-12. to 12. It's so frustrated at this point because they shouldn't even have the ball. But nothing you could do, you know, there's no uh, there's no challenging the play on 2K, you know, only, only if this was Madden. Uh, shout out to 2K making a football game next year. We'll see how they do that. If they manage to make some kind of park mode with NFL, you know, that might be different. We'll see, though. This dude ends up taking a horrible shot, though. Beast with the board. That did not put me past the red line, unfortunately. Uh, shout out to King Kami message <laughs> messaging me right there. 9 to 15. You see... I'm going for the back door and Beast throws the scary. I knew I was going to happen. I regret trying to go for the back door as soon as I did it. This dude going up 18%. Like I said, if you're 7'3", just going up with contested layups is a good strategy in the game. You're going to hit those a lot of the time. 11 to 15. Can we get a stop? Can we get a steal? This man trying to hit me with the back door. I'm not letting that happen. I'm telling Beast, pick him up. I'm back. Uh, it's just like, you know, it, I don't, it's, it's a weird game. I don't know how to say. This dude goes up contested right there. You know, I, man, I don't know what he was thinking. Beast was right there. The big man moved out. But, of course, Beast not going to fall. The dude can't shoot. I'm telling Beast, dot me. The center leaving me wide open. Puts me back to the three. Not what I wanted. I was expecting a midi. So, that made my timing go off. And now, man, how many, how many times? So, we're actually shooting decent from three. We're shooting five for six. But we've given him the ball, you know, two, three, four. I don't even know how many times. And this dude, shout out to this guy, Shorth, matching his hat. I just noticed that, too. Uh, cooking me up a little bit. You see, got the crab, got the crab. He doesn't want to shoot off the crab, though. I don't know. This man went crazy at the end. He was trying to go up contested layups. I guess because his shots weren't falling, he said he was just going to shoot it. This dude, I have no idea. These guys. Let me take this open corner shot. Another white. Let me. Okay, now I think I know what's going on. I think the park was lagging, making everybody miss. Uh, unless we're all just that terrible at shooting. And then in that case, that is tough. But see Beast hop step in there. I'm at the midi. I'm taking this. Green light. 17 to 11. We need two more shots no matter what they are. Let's finish these guys out of here. Uh, <coughs> who's, who's got the high hand? Me and Beast really both got the high hand this game. We're not really missing. Beast takes the wide open three. Misses it. Give them the ball. This dude. Let's see what he's got, man. It's... Some, it's uh, just you know, I'm not gonna lie watching these gameplays back. It's so it's so unfortunate letting teams like this have the ball so many times without getting the games back. But you know, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut possessions out because I feel like you know you guys watch me because I show the whole gameplays, mistakes and all. So even though it's frustrating watching us just give these guys the ball over and over on good good attempts, I'm gonna show you guys what they got. You see, he's got the Kobe size. He gets that mean step back. Beast, I'm telling him get in front of him. This dude about to hit a million layups. It's tough. He's four for six, five rebounds. Something something like this is something we could lose to. You know, this dude just going up with layups like that. So I'm telling Beast, don't worry about the steal. Just you know, get in front of him. You see. There, the bump steal. He's taking the super, super close shot green. 15 to 19. As soon as this ball touches my hands, I am not selling this game. It is about to be over. Let me see that ball, Beast. Let me get these guys off the court. We will not let them have the ball. 
There, see, they're telling the center to guard me. He's gonna risk let me taking a shot, and that is green. Could you not, have you guys ever seen it not switch like that? I was really confused when I just uh, was watching it. Back. But yeah, good game, man. Let me know if you guys thought. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. She's got all his attributes. It's gonna be a probably be a tough topic.